All right, Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, salutations to you, I came across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and maturity. And um, I got this article pulled up here. Uh, I'm going to read a little bit of it, you know, because we're, uh, you know, we're obviously in the end of this society and, um, you know, you got a lot of our people, <laughs> you got a lot of our people that, uh, especially Jake. You know they they can't figure out what's uh what's actually happening around them, all right. And um, what's happening around them is judgment, all right. It's being prepared for the people of America, Babylon the Great, all right. Now it's starting from the inside because the Lord said that when a land, you know, roughly paraphrasing, when a land sinneth against him, he will break the staff of bread. Roughly paraphrasing, he would uh basically start to break down the society from the inside all right and this is also how um elder yashuama just went into a lesson on how this place is like rome you know and it's uh it's falling all right and the attributes show that it's falling all right just as rome did if you go look up the history and compare america babylon the great to rome this that's because this is rome this is greece all right reincarnated this is all the wicked kingdoms all right put together all underneath the rule of the so-called white man. So we're in the end of his society. And um, this is going to be a quick lesson. This is from the Wall Street Journal. Now, I don't have no subscription to them. So <laughs> we're going to have the little, the little bar at the bottom. But it says, high gas prices spur companies to give workers cash for commuting costs. Many employers say helping with gasoline bills is best way to keep their businesses staffed. Now, I know this... Um, I know this uh, firsthand. Why? Because, you know, a lot of the brothers, they do the ride share and, um, you know, they have incentives going and bonuses going for, you know, the, the, the drivers because of the gas prices. All right. And, um, you know, I, this is spirit because I just had a, a oil refiner. I was driving around an oil refiner. He works for BP. And, you know, these people are so um, confident in this place continuing. You know, he was a refiner from Spain. He works for VP, uh, British Petroleum is what it's uh, is what it's called, and um, you know he's basically saying how, you know, gas is gonna go back down thirty thirty cents, and um, you know the government has to, you know they have to measure they have to balance things out. Now you know that might be true, and it it probably you know it might be true, but through the scriptures we know that. <laughs> That's just Esau, which he was an Edomite from Spain. That's just Esau, all right, in the spirit of what? Continuing, uh, hoping that his uh, house and dwelling continues forever, as the scripture says, man. So the, the spirit on these people is that this place is going to continue and that this place is going to get better. The scripture says that this place isn't going to be healed. The scripture tells you this, all right? We would have healed Babylon, but she cannot be healed, roughly paraphrasing, man. All right, the Lord is destroying this place and breaking down everything inside this place before the destruction comes. Now, I'm going to read this. This says, uh, rising gasoline prices are prompting more companies to offer fuel stipends, gift cards, and other benefits, including continued work from home privileges as they try to retain employees. So see, the Lord is really breaking down this place, man, right around us. So this is why we have to stay occupied in prophecy, man. Okay, to myself first and foremost, because we can, we get busy with our daily life. We still gotta pay these fucking bills. We still gotta go work for Esau. Yes, we gotta go work. I, be, I believe that that's been going out uh, amongst brothers. You know, Elder Barra, uh, uh, the brother uh, Arala here in uh, GMS Chicago. All right, if you can work, you're still supposed to be working. You know, and collecting things necessary. You know, not saying any of these things is gonna save us. But it's just wisdom, all right, to continuously work. So when stuff does go down, what you have a little something, you know, even though it might not save you, it's not gonna save you. But it's not, it's unwise to you know grab a couple things, work, save up some money so you can afford stuff to buy so that you're prepared somewhat <laughs> when all this shit gets crazy out here. You know, not saying that's gonna save you, all right. Or it could. The Lord might have it where you buy something that could uh, uh, sustain you. You know what I'm saying? 
for a time. Now, um, and that's why the apostles say, go out. It's not, it's not, you're not being over righteous if you go out and buy some things and prepare yourself. And I believe Elder Malcolm said it, use uh, wisdom and your, use, the, use your, use your thinking cap, you know. So anyway, this says, uh, though some executives are starting to worry a recession is coming. Now, I'm going to look up this word recession. It says recession. In economics, a recession is a business cycle contraction when there is a general decline in economic activity. All right. That's what's happening in America. Why? Because the Lord is destroying this place from the inside out and it is going to get demolition work, man. Via the thermonuclear destructive missiles. It says recessions generally occur when there is a widespread drop in spending. <laughs> you see? Widespread drop in spending. Why? Because people are not getting paid. Uh, uh, the jobs are, are disappearing. People are not making money. People are not able to get to work to get and uh, earn and make money. So therefore, the spending and the buying of products is going down. It says this may be triggered by various events such as a financial crisis and external external trade shock. Okay, which we know why that is. Why? Because America is being isolated. So the other countries are starting to go other ways financially, which is causing what? An external trade shock because America does trade with a lot of places. A lot of the stuff here in America is not from here. It's not manufactured here. It's not built here. It's shipped here. It's traded. It's, it's sent on boats. And you look in California, a lot of those... uh. Those crates, <laughs> all right. A lot of them are still um, at the docks. All right. So the Lord is 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 destroying this place. This is how Rome fell. Then you have decadence. Then you have weird activities. You have things, abominations happening. Go Google and research what happened to Rome before it fell, man. It says an adverse supply shock. <laughs> you see. The bursting of an economic bubble or a large scale anthropogenic or natural disaster. So this thing's going to bust wide open because why? The Lord is taking this place down. Let's get a scripture real quick. This is Isaiah. I just got a couple scriptures. I don't want to make it long. Isaiah 19 and 1. The burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud. Who's that? Yahawashai. And shall come into Egypt. All right. That's why we're seeing the chariots around. That's why more and more videos of so-called UAP, so-called UFOs are, are coming to the forefront, man. Right. Because eventually the Lord's going to come into the house of the thief. It tells you that in the scriptures. I believe it's the book of Zechariah. So everything is happening. This prophecy uh, um, goes forth and we have to continue to keep up with the prophecy. That's why the Lord made us watchmen. We're supposed to be watching prophecy. All right. Isaiah 19 and 1, the burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. And the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. All right. So this place is going. These people are going to bug out soon, man. Especially when the Lord comes, man. Especially when there's no food, when the famine comes. Especially when there's all hell breaking loose here in America. And it's all being done by who? It's all being orchestrated by Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, man. Verse 2, and I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian. That's why you have that's why you have division starting to uh, grow amongst these Edomites, man. You have division. The Lord said he, br he came to bring division, right? It says, and they shall fight everyone against his brother. And everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. Because what is this economic crash going to uh, bring forth? It's going to bring forth a lot of angry people that are going to come against each other. Read the book of 2nd Ezra 15. Read the book of 2nd Ezra uh, 16. See? So this is the times we're coming into, man. It says, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail. In the midst of so this place is the Lord's causing this place to fail, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, 
and they shall seek to idols and to charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to wizards <clears throat> because this this society has been known to do what to um be ran off of what wickedness evil things contrary to righteousness things contrary to the law statutes and commandments of y'all about y'all charge so what the judgment is going to come forth that's what's about to come all right so all the things going on here in america these businesses these corporations uh money schemes uh, uh everything man the, the whole economy in itself man the whole council that has been going on here in america this wickedness over here the lord's breaking this man it's failing. People see this place failing. The council, the order is breaking. Because the Lord is about to cure it and judge this place, man. Verse 3. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. And I will destroy and I will destroy the council thereof. And they shall see to idols and to charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to wizards. And the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of a cruel Lord and a fierce king shall rule over them saith the lord the lord of hosts and the water shall fail from the sea and the river shall be wasted and dried up because that's going into what this place being destroyed by fire verse six and they shall turn the rivers far away and the brooks of defense shall be emptied and dried up the reeds and flags flags shall wither the paper reeds by the brooks, by the mouth of the brooks, and everything sown by the brooks shall wither, be driven away, and be no more. The fishers also shall mourn, and all they that cast angle into the brook shall lament, and they that spread nets upon the waters shall languish. See? Every uh, business, fishing, uh, 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 agriculture, uh, um, what else? Uh, the banking system. What else? Uh, um different trades it's all failing because what these trades they a lot of trades they run off of materials a lot of materials are not coming into america a lot of materials and a lot of things are not going onto the shelf because they can't be made because they don't have the materials because they're sitting out there in those uh in those boxes on the coast of california see so the lord is it, this is everything is going as the scripture said it would man all right and our job is to what the lord said watch and pray all right it says, verse 9, Moreover, they that work in fine flax, and they that weave networks shall be confounded, and they shall be broken in purposes thereof, and all that make sluices and ponds for fish. Surely the princes of Zoan are fools. The counsel of the wise counselors of Pharaoh has become brutish. All right? Because it's going to get to a point where Esau, he, it is no uh, remedy for this. He's going to understand that, man. All right? He's going to understand that a higher power, eventually that's what's going to happen. He's going to understand that a higher power is doing this, man. What happened when Moses went to Pharaoh, man? All right, for a time, all right, the counselors and the, uh, 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 the magicians of Egypt were able to do what Moses was doing. So they got to a point where they were like, I, that's of the Lord. You see, and that's what that's what we're, that's uh, what is going to be experienced by these by these rulers in this time. They are likened unto what pharaohs, all right, and the counselors of Pharaoh. That's why this place is known as uh, another Egypt, man. Isaiah nineteen and twelve. Where are they? Where are thy wise? Actually, eleven. Surely the princes of Zoan are fools. The counsel of the wise counselors of Pharaoh is become brutish. How say ye unto Pharaoh, I am the son of the wise, the son of ancient kings? Where are they? Where are they? Where are thy wise men? And let them tell thee now, and let them know what the Lord of hosts hath purpose upon Egypt. See? So the prophets are out here telling the whole matter. Alright? It's gonna get to, it's getting to the point where they the wicked elite understand who the apostles and elders are and on down coming back they understand what times we're in all right so this is why they're moving fast with their what their nwo because what they're trying to outsmart and treat the lord which is not going to work you're going according to your lot you're going according to what the lord purposed you to do in these last days which is to what come down with great wrath revelation 12 and 12 all right 
force the people to get underneath your system. All right, because you know that the Lord is coming back. <laughs> so everyone against you is with the Lord. <laughs> is everyone that's against the society is an enemy to you. So it's going to get to the point where what? We're going to be uh, uh, ostracized. We're going to be persecuted. We're going to be brought before these people, man, because we're against this society. And we're prophesying and have been given the spirit to let you know that this place is about to go down just like every other great wicked kingdom that the Lord judged, man. Read the scriptures. Read the history. These other nations and these elites and these oligarchs, they know all right, the history of the Israelites. They know the history of the, the God of the Israelites, man. See, Isaiah 19 and 14. The Lord hath mingled. <clears throat> third, I think it was in 13. Let's go to 13. Isaiah 19 and 13. The princes of Zoan are become fools. The princes of Naph are deceived. They have also seduced Egypt. Even they that are the stay of the tribes thereof. The Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. And they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. All right. So this place is, is falling, man. It's so many reports coming out on how. Truckers, for example, truckers bring goods to cities, right? Truckers bring goods to stores. Truckers, because of these gas prices. That. A, that's what this article is going into. Truckers, because of these gas prices, are paying a thousand dollars a day to drive on the road back and forth across the roads. Man, it's gonna become completely out of control to the point where they can't afford it. Man, not even if they try, because this is judgment coming. And the trucker said there's not gonna be any food coming. So the three days of food, which most grocery stores have, they only have three, probably three to four days maybe a week all right if that because a brother here he works in a grocery store and he said the only shipment that came in within three days is a shipment of strawberries man nothing else so the shortage the food shortage the famine everything is orchestrated by your how to do what to bring this place down before destruction the, the lord doing this is going to do what it's going to cause people to panic it's going to cause people to come into a chaotic mindset because these people are as beasts, man. And we've been telling these people. We've been telling our family. We've been telling everyone, man. The prophets have been prophesying, man. Because we have the vision to see this. We have the we have the prophets, starting with the apostles and elders on down, have the vision, man. And the scripture says where there is no vision, which a lot of these people don't understand the vision. It says they are in the night. All right. It says, where there is no vision in the mind of the people, the people perish, man. And that is what's about to take place here in America, man. They don't have the vision that we have. We see this place going down like the Lord said. We see this place being destroyed like the Lord said, man. That's what's taking place. We've been trying to tell these people. The prophets have the vision. <laughs> That's why in the ancient world they were known as seers. Because they could foresee into the future. The Lord gave them that spirit. Isaiah 19, Isaiah 19 and 15, neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail branch or rush may do. Now, if you go back to this article, it says, though some executives are starting to worry a recession could be looming. Several said making commutes affordable is essential as workers continue to quit jobs and it remains challenging to fill vacant positions. This is what the prophecy is happening, man. This is beautiful, man. Call law. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, man. We've been telling you people, man. Employers say the perks are critical to keeping their businesses open as employees Rumble about rising gas prices and office office materials. I believe it's going to say because I don't have the subscription, <laughs> you know, which news should be free. But, you know, Esau, he is as wicked anyway. So unrighteous decrees, unrighteousness. You got to pay to know what's going on. Shit crazy, man. It says, though, some executives are starting to work. Now, listen, so th I'm going to read it again. So th though some executives are starting to worry a recession could be looming. Several said making commutes affordable is essential. Why? 
as workers continue to quit jobs and it remains challenging to fill vacant positions. Employers say the perks are critical to keeping their businesses open as employees grumble about rising gas prices and office office supply probably and materials. And that is according to what I just said. Materials and office supplies can't get to where they have to get to because trucks can't get them there because trucks are not able to pay more than a thousand dollars a fucking day driving on the road, man. Everything's breaking down. The Lord is uh, uh this is a uh, this is surgical from you. How about from y'all shy, man? That's the scripture taking place. Isaiah nineteen and fifteen. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail branch or rush may do. We're coming into these times. In that day, Egypt shall be like unto women, and it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts, which He shaketh over it. The Lord is doing this, man. Then the Lord say, well, I, I shall break the staff of bread. And when a land sinneth against me, roughly paraphrasing, when a land sins against the Lord, the Lord brings forth judgment on that land. Look at, check the history of Sodom and Gomorrah. Check uh, 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 Babylon, the, the old Babylon. See, not the daughter of Babylon, Babylon. The one that Nebuchadnezzar uh, ruled, that one. Check the Persians and the Medes. Check the Greeks. Check the Romans, all right? And now we're at the end inside the ten toes of the Roman Empire, man. That's the time of history we are in in the scriptures, man. And the Lord is what? He wants to use that stone, which is Yahawashai, to break all, break the whole image down, man, that Nebuchadnezzar seen. Which is symbolic for what? The Lord of hosts, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, coming to take down the greatest, most wicked kingdom on the earth, America, Babylon, and great, man. And we're seeing him... Uh, surgically destroy this place from the inside first, man. We're seeing it. And we're trying to tell you people, man. Verse 15. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt which the head or tail, branch or rush may do. Is that scripture being fulfilled? Yes, it is. It says it right here. I'll read it again. Though some executives are starting to worry. This is from the Wall Street Journal, man. E. Look at the picture. And I'm actually I might use this picture for the video. That's cool. It says, though some executives are starting to worry a recession could be looming, several said commutes affordable is essential as workers continue to quit jobs and it remains challenging to fill vacant positions. Employees say the perks are critical to keeping their businesses open as employees grumble about rising gas prices and it probably says office supplies or materials, man. Okay. This is what's taking place. The Lord's surgical strike. Let's get another scripture, man. This is. Let's go to Amos 9 and 8. Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, are upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it off. off I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. That scripture that we read previously in what? And Isaiah said that what? Nuclear destruction, this place being wasted is a part of the Lord getting rid of this place and shaking his hand over this place, man. The Lord is shaking his hand over this place now. He didn't really start shaking it hard. He didn't really start, he, but he's, he's, him shaking it is, you're, it is known by what? Looking at these people and, and understanding that what? They're starting to catch a lot of hell, man. Like a brother said, uh, the brother, you know, Big Hawk here in uh, Chicago, he said, these, Jake is really just faking it, man. Jake really don't got nothing. Jake, he said Jake know how to pretend, man, that they having fun in this society, that they got it. Jake don't got shit, man. If the, if Esau <clears throat> and the heathens are struggling, and you, Jake, you at the bottom of the society, you're pretending. You don't know. You have nothing. You're catching hell because you're in the mindset of still, con still, that you're in the mindset of this place continuing on, man. While the heathens that have enjoyed this place, they understand that this is probably, this is heading towards the end of this place, man. Which shows you how fucking gone two-thirds of our people are, man. And it's sad, man. But it's judgment because they're blinded by Yahweh by Shemel Shai. All right, this is, that's the prophecy. Isaiah the sixth chapter. <laughs> All right, John 3. Our people love darkness. They are in the night. <laughs> you see, that's spiritual, man. But the Lord said, we're not in the night. We're the children of the day. The night has been far spent for us. We didn't been in the night with you people, man. Not knowing nothing, in oblivion. But now through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemuel Shai, we've been given a vision. The Lord 
tapped our head, all right, and the light came on in the building, in our house, which is our temple, man. The Lord turned the light on and our and <laughs> turned our spirit on, man. Amos 9 and 8, behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. So is America going to be great again? No, it's going to be destroyed off the face of the earth, man. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. So the Lord is going to save a remnant of the Israelites, man. That's what we're all fighting to be. That's why we're in this truth. We're trying to work out our own salvation. We're trying to get out of this fucking destruction coming, man. See? Because what's coming down the pipe is not going to be nice, man. What's coming down the pipe is going to put these people into the spirit of brute beasts as we know they are, according to the scriptures, man. Made to be taken and destroyed. All right. What is, um? I believe it's in um, Ecclesiastes that what man is, man is basically a beast. Man differs nothing from a beast or an animal. So you're going to see, all right. You're going to see these people turn into beasts and animals right before your eyes. Because what? Everything's been giving a, a beckoning call in the society. Everything's been spoon fed to everybody. So the animalistic nature of people has been hidden. But now we're about to see it when this Lord takes away the stay of bread, the water. All right? The Lord talks about uh, turning off the fountains of water. It's not going to be no running water. What do you? This is what's coming, man. And, and and I just hope that Yahweh Bashem Yashai be with us and be with me, man. Like like Hedger said, man, what was me, what was me? Who shall deliver me in those days, man? See? Because the Lord's gonna cut this place off, man, and we're seeing the beginning of it. The Lord's shaking his hand, starting to begin to shake his hand violently over this place, man. And it's gonna get worse. Alright? This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. That's what we're doing. That's why we're in the truth. We're remembering our creator. The Lord has put us in remembrance of him and our history. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders, <laughs> that's the working, and the grinders cease. We read about the jobs ending. We read that in two scriptures now. <laughs> you see? Isaiah saw it. Here in Ecclesiastes, Yahweh Shai saw it. Yahweh Shai was a prophet. King Solomon was a prophet too, man. Why are they saying the same? Why are they speaking on the same vision of the end, man? Why is that? Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. In the, in, the time, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few. And those that look out of the windows be darkened and the doors shall be shut in the streets. This is what's coming. When the sound of the grinding is low. There ain't going to be all these jobs. The jobs are going to start disappearing quick. Jobs are going to start being, uh, 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 uh. Jobs are going to start going down. Different businesses are going to start declaring bankruptcy. This is going to be a trickle-down effect, man. The Lord is working on this place from the inside, man. Ecclesiastes 12 and 4. And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. All right, and we experienced a, a brief moment, a test and a showing of this during what we just came out of. I'm not going to speak on it. We know what I'm talking about. That was a test. Look how people reacted during that, man. That was a test from the Lord. Ultimately, it gave Jake a lot of time to repent. Sit their ass at home and watch these videos. Read. Get in tune. But Jake didn't. Jake used that whole time period to get PPPs. All right. Collect uh, stimulus checks. Collect unemployment. And just be all in folly, man. And further seduce themselves and put themselves in darkness, man. That was That's prophecy. <laughs> Here it is. The Lord gave you all this. He gave you two years to sit your fucking ass down. All right. Understand the prophecies. Get in tune. Repent. Get yourself right. Get your mind right. Get prepared to the best of your ability. Through the spirit. 
But our people, they chose not to, man. Because they came right out of this uh, thing we just came out of, right back into their folly, man. Even more folly, even greater folly. Which further angered the Lord. So what's happening? What's about to happen with Jake? Jake's going to be the last. Jake's going to be the, 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 the group of people to experience the worst of this, man. Because Jake already don't got nothing, man. That's prophecy. Ecclesi Ecclesiastes 12 and 4. And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird. And all the daughters of music shall be brought low. We're in the time of the music's trash. The music is the same fucking... Every artist is the same is the same shit they talking about in the song, different beat. Yeah, the beats might be... Oh, yeah, this, this beat's interesting. But what are they... What's the, what substance are they talking about? Oh, just the same nigger shit. Yeah. <laughs> the music is at a, the lowest point it's ever been, man. Because the music about drugs. The, the people making the music get bugged out. Got demons on them. <laughs> so we're in the end of this, man. Uh, let's keep reading verse 5 also when they shall be afraid of that which is high and the fear shall be in the way and the almond tree shall flourish and the grasshopper shall be a burden and desire shall fail because a man goeth to his long home and the mourners go about the streets see now you can go into and read this uh this chapter man this read isaiah 19 and it goes into uh this place failing from the inside first man do you people really think that the st stuff you see in the movies, uh, uh, as far as Bushwick, all right, uh, I Am Legend, do you think they put these movies out there for nothing? Does that's called desensitization, man. Those are open messages that only the the the, the only men of understanding, really the elites of the nations, can see. That's why the apostles understand. That's why we, through the Spirit, perceive when we watch movies what we're, what's, what the elite are about to do. And they said they're getting ready to completely give up on you people. They don't give a fuck about you people. There's an article. There's a, 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 I was watching a video. All the elites are flying to South America because they're going to let you people up here in America and around the world in these different countries, especially here in America and in the EU. And in NATO, destroy each other. All right, kill each other for the lack of bread, as it says in Second Ezra. Kick each other's door in. <laughs> you lower level politicians, you're not going to escape. You're not really anything. You're not anything of nobility in the in the nation of Edom. You got sold down the river. <laughs> You know, so I'm not gonna make this too long. This place is over, man. And this, this gas, gas is going to really because people can't travel. We don't travel with horses anymore. Before cars, what were there? Horses. That's how people travel. People don't know nothing about riding on horses. If you drive your car from your house to your job, do you know how far that is on a horse? Do you know how far that is walking? Cars have made everything extremely convenient, and if gas is is too high that people can't run their cars, it's going to be a very huge problem. And not just with cars, with tra transportation, with trade, All right? Everything runs off that oil and that gas, man. Lord willing, this is edifying. Call Halal Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham. Rakai Kodash, that one honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, Akim, across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and maturity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.